Bitcoin is right now creating a pretty big CME gap. And of course, yesterday we were talking about this momentum turning towards the downside. And yes, indeed, we got this breakdown of this symmetrical triangle and we got some downside price action being created. But of course, today we have started a new weekday and that means that the CME futures are trading again. And over the course of the weekend, we have been creating a new CME gap. And we do know of these CME gaps. Well, these CME gaps tend to get filled nine out of the 10 times. You can be seeing this CME gap right here got filled right off right here as well we created a cme gap and we filled it right after right here once again and we can go on and on and on all of these cme gaps tend to get filled very very quickly so will this suggest a trend shift in the short term and the bitcoin price once again bouncing towards the upside to be filling the cme gap all the way up towards the 31.2k level well if we have a look in towards the momentum indicators we can definitely already say we have cooled down quite a significant bit already if we have a look in towards our rsi yes indeed we have retraced towards the oversold levels again for the macd indicator we have retraced quite a bit in towards our red zone so i would say because the momentum indicators have cooled down a significant amount and we have been creating this cme gap that yes indeed our longer term momentum can continue and we once again can be seeing another push towards the upside being created and i do still expect we are are going to be seeing even higher prices being reached i think this will be happening this week so yes indeed i am still in my long position that i opened right here at this breakout i opened it right here exactly at this breakout of this cup and handle pattern also of all of these other charts right here and this has led me into knowing exactly that yes indeed we were going to be seeing this push towards the upside being created so that is exactly why i opened up this long position right here on bitcat but yes indeed right now i do still think we can be seeing higher prices because right now we can actually be seeing a very similar move being created as we saw right here but also as we saw right here because we are having this previous resistance from of this previous top Right now bringing in resistance and all of these previous times we also got massive resistance coming in from this level right now again we are getting rejected because of this level and previously around it took about half a week before once again breaking this resistance and then get another push towards the upside and that was our final push towards the upside and after that we retraced we consolidated a bit and we continued our price action and right now once again we are seeing the same exact thing happening i think whenever we will be breaking this resistance well then we are going to be seeing another push towards the upside being created towards the 34k level but possibly even all the way up towards 36k level because one thing is for sure whenever we will be breaking this resistance right here we are currently trading at well we are also going to be breaking our weekly resistance and this will be very important because previously around this support support and resistance has been very important right here we broke above we retested it and after the retest we moved up very significantly towards the upside right here again we retested it here and after that we moved up very significantly towards the upside and right here we broke down below it and we got a very big move towards the downside so whenever we will be breaking towards the upside right here i definitely do think we will be creating a very significant move towards the upside so now it gets very interesting because we can be saying all right if we are going to be going up to fill our CME gap this week all the way up towards the 31.2k well we are going to be having a lot of momentum towards the upside and i definitely do think this CME gap will get filled but the second question is if we are going to be filling our CME gap do we have enough momentum left to be breaking this resistance right here and if we do have enough momentum left well of course we are also going to be breaking our weekly resistance and at that point whenever we are going to be breaking this one well we can be seeing a 36k bitcoin very very quickly and if we have a look into our funding rates well we can still say all right these funding rates are still actually trading quite low so still a majority of the market is still shorting the bitcoin market and we do know the majority is most of the time wrong in the market so that could mean all right we are going to be seeing indeed this new move towards the upside being created and yes this is still very much possible because people are saying all right we got this massive 
move towards the upside right of about 25%. But if we actually have a look into our Bollinger Bands, well, we actually can see that we are still trading at historic lows, all right? And still, there is not a lot of volatility having a look into our historic volatility indicator. Our Bollinger Bands width is still very, very narrow. And all of the time in the past, this has suggested a very big move that was about to come and still we are trading very narrow so still a much much bigger move is still imminent and that move is about to come whenever we are going to be breaking this resistance from this previous top okay so keep your eyes out on that exactly that will be very important now other than that well we are about to fill our cme gap very very likely and even if we continue to trade a bit more towards the downside in the short term well in the end of the day we are going to be filling our CME gap at the end of the week so it doesn't mean we have to fill our CME gap immediately but in the end of the week we will be filling our CME gap and even if we are going to be trading a bit more towards the downside that will only present us with a good buying opportunity and these are the levels I will be interested at into opening another long position or or adding in towards my position. So be sure to be staying up to date about every single market development on my Twitter. And guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.